It is possible to break the part of your brain that perceives size and distance. Allow me to explain. In a case study from 2004, a nine-year-old boy was having many strange feelings about the size of his own body. He occasionally felt as if he were too tall and too far away from the ground, or otherwise he felt that he was shrinking. Sometimes he felt that his head was too small. He also reported feeling that his hand might suddenly grow and feel huge, way too big for his body. These unusual feelings each lasted about 15 minutes at a time. Later, it was found that he was suffering from complex partial seizures during these short periods. How did a seizure lead to such strange perceptions? Being able to determine the size and distance away from us that objects are is an amazing ability. Certain optical illusions help to remind us that our brains are constantly working hard to try and make sense of what we are looking at. Your brain combines old information about what it already knows about size and distance, such as approximately how big a person is, with new incoming information from the environment, such as how things overlap with each other in a way that tells you which is further away. Usually, these hidden processes work well, and you can perceive size and distance more or less correctly without even thinking about it. But when these processes are interrupted, such as by brain damage or by a seizure, the whole world can begin feeling like Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome gets its name from the Lewis Carroll story in which a young girl goes on an adventure down a rabbit hole. During her adventure, she has food and drink that cause her to grow and shrink in size. This syndrome is so named because when a person has it, usually a child, they often experience strange sensations of growing and shrinking, among a list of other weird phenomena. The two visual symptoms most commonly associated with Alice in Wonderland syndrome are macropsia, which is mistakenly perceiving objects as being too big, and micropsia, which is mistakenly perceiving objects as being too small. For example, if you saw a rabbit and it looked like it was the size of a horse, that's a case of macropsia. If you saw a car parked on the street and it looked like a little toy car, that's a case of micropsia. Additionally, a person may experience teleopsia, in which objects look like they are farther away than they actually are, or pelopsia, in which objects look like they are closer than they actually are. If a bee flying by looks miles away, or the clouds above your head look close enough to touch, you may be experiencing these symptoms. These scale and distance problems can also happen to the body of the person with the disorder as well, most commonly leading to sensations of growing or shrinking, either of the whole body or of parts of the body. The sensation of growing is called macrosomatognosia, while the sensation of shrinking is called microsomatognosia. Many other less common phenomena are occasionally associated with this disorder as well. There might be perceptions of time or objects moving too quickly, called the quick motion phenomenon. There are even reports of changes in perceptions of weight, length, color, and straight lines becoming extra wavy. Alice in Wonderland syndrome is often affiliated with seizures, migraines, and a virus called Epstein-Barr. These especially occur in children. By one recent estimate, 78% of Alice in Wonderland syndrome cases occur in children less than 18 years old. The reason that children seem to develop these symptoms more often than adults seems to be due to the fact that the visual system in children is somewhat different, especially in an area called the ventral pathway of the visual cortex. When patterns of unusual brain excitement happen in this region, such as during a migraine or a seizure, children have more pronounced visual symptoms than adults. The good news is that the symptoms are usually temporary, but while the distortions are occurring, this is one of the most wonderfully unusual ways that your brain can break.